Uh, my name's Graham Higley. I'm Head of Library and Information Services here at the Museum. And um, I'm talking to you about the two projects, the Encyclopedia of Life and the Biodiversity Heritage Library. Um, I'm involved in both projects, as is the Museum. Uh, my role is to represent the Museum and the Biodiversity Heritage Library on the board of the Encyclopedia of Life. The two projects are, are totally interlocked in a sense. Um, they are coming from the same funding pool, but having said that, they both have very different backgrounds. The Encyclopedia of Life project is about creating a single web page for every species on the planet. The, the benefits for science is it will provide a central location where all information about a species ultimately can be linked. So you can go to one place uh, or put your data in one place knowing that it will be linked forever to that particular species. For the general public, this will be the first opportunity for most people to get a sense of the enormous diversity of plants and animals on the planet. The scale of the project, 1.8 million species known at the moment, uh, is huge and I think most people don't understand that today. The Biodiversity Heritage Library project is, ten con is a consortium of 10 libraries um, two from the UK, eight from the US, and, and our objective is to scan all the literature on biodiversity and make it freely available on the web. We think that will be somewhere in the region of 100 to 150 million pages of literature, and that will link through to the pages of the EOL. So the Encyclopedia of Life page will reference all the literature that's relevant to that species. The full weight of the British government is behind this very exciting initiative. The Encyclopedia of Life is going to be a global resource. What could be more appropriate for a world that is more and more connected, where issues of climate change, issues of biodiversity, join us together across natural and national boundaries? I believe that the drive of major scientific institutions from the UK, the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew and the Natural History Museum, joining with scientific institutions in the United States and around the world really is a unique endeavor.